All right, so in this unit, we're going to be talking about the age of the common man and increasing tensions during that time period. First up is going to be politics during this time period because so much of this time period in the 1820s, 1830s, and 1840s is driven by the politics of what's going on. So there's this end to the era of good feelings. The election of 1824 formally put an end to it. So remember, the era of good feelings was under Monroe and everybody was happy and there was this kind of post-war of 1812 high that the nation was riding. Nationalism was really strong and everybody was really happy. So now in the election of 1824 there are four Republican candidates for president. John Quincy Adams who was the Secretary of State, Henry Clay the Speaker of the House, William Crawford Secretary of the Treasury, and Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, if you look at the map, technically won the popular vote, but he didn't win the majority, so the House has to decide. So it's kind of seen as this corrupt bargain because the House had to decide among the top three candidates, but Crawford ended up having a stroke, so he's pulled out. Then Henry Clay and John Quincy Adams strike a deal that says Clay will give his support to Adams and Adams said well I'll name you Secretary of State if you do that. Jackson's people called this a bribe and tagged it the corrupt bargain. So unfortunately for John Quincy Adams, so if you look at the map, so it was a dirty campaign. There was a lot of So, 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 if you, then the bank presidency. Okay, so if you look at the two party system, the Democrats supported local rule, limited government, free trade, opportunity for white males, and they came from their support in mostly the South and the West. The Whigs, they loved the American system. They thought that crime was associated with immigrants, and they were largely in the New England and Mid-Atlantic states. But is then in 1836, it became officially the Lone Star Republic. Santa Anna rejected that treaty, which is when you had all that fighting. In 1837, Jackson recognized the Republic of Texas. Now, the problem, Texas requested admission into the Union, but it was delayed due to the issue of slavery. If Texas came in as a slave state, the number of slave versus free states would be off. U.S. was afraid of conflict with Mexico since Mexico wouldn't recognize Texas independence as a republic. Texas had high debt due to the revolution. Texas wanted annexation because the U.S. had strong military to protect Texas from Mexico. The U.S. had a strong economy and a postal service, and most Texans were from the United States. So in 1840, you can see the map here. So what 